and welcome. Our top story at this hour, wearing pink and shouting, hands off my body, tens of thousands of women took to the streets across all 50 states of the United States in nationwide protests in support of abortion rights. The first women's march of the Biden government headed straight for the Supreme Court to demand continued access to abortion in a year when conservative lawmakers and judges have put it at risk. Pro-choice supporters across the country now fear that their constitutional right is at risk, especially since the coming months, the Supreme Court is set to hear a case that could overturn Roe v. Wade, the 1972 decision that legalized abortion nationwide. Many were even dressed as America's iconic women's rights crusader, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. The issue of abortion rights, which is always contentious in America, has once again come to the forefront. Since the state of Texas adopted a law on September 1st banning abortions, unleashing a fierce counter-attack in the courts and Congress. The rallies were organized by those behind the annual Women's March, the first of which drew millions of people to protest a day after the inauguration of former President Donald Trump in 2017. It's important for us to all keep fighting for our rights because it's our bodies. It's ridiculous. I can't believe we still have to fight for this, but we'll keep fighting for it as long as we have to. I'm sick and tired of having to fight over abortion rights. It's settled law in the nation, and you are not taking that right away from us. Not now, not ever. And my heart goes out to the places, the women in places like Texas and Georgia and Missouri and so many others. And 58% of women who are reproductive age live in states where they're trying to strip those rights away. That is a crime. And we have to stand up for them. In Texas, hundreds gathered to denounce the so-called heartbeat law signed by Governor Greg Abbott. It bans abortion after cardiac activity is detected in the embryo, which usually happens around six weeks. Experts say that this is before most women even know that they are pregnant and earlier than 85% to 90% of all abortions are carried out. The Texas law relies on ordinary citizens to enforce the ban, which makes no exceptions for rape or incest, and rewards them at least $10,000 if they successfully sue anyone who helped provide an illegal abortion. The Supreme Court has already refused to block the Texas law and has agreed to review a restrictive Mississippi law that could provide an opportunity to overturn Roe v. Wade. So far this year, 19 states have adopted 63 laws restricting access to abortions across the United States.